Yo, what good, gang? So I'm doing a little POV today. Um, hopefully it'll be like a little good video. It ain't gonna be too long. And it ain't gonna be too short. Y'all just ain't never seen me, you know, drive in a minute. Let me get y'all a little quick little POV, man. I ain't gonna go too crazy. I still gotta get my tires. got to get my exhaust put on still got to get the tires put on like i said and i gotta order that thing i was just finna tell y'all what i'm finna order but i ain't gonna even do it i gotta order my next mod man I gotta order my next mod so y'all stay tuned for that i really i really was trying to got name just drop whenever I got like something to show y'all but a lot of people keep telling me to drop but I don't want to be knowing what y'all want to see man y'all gotta let me know what y'all want to see man cause I don't want to just be dropping just anything you feel me like I don't want y'all to be bored of the stuff I'm dropping you know what I'm saying so if y'all got some ideas or anything like that that y'all want to see Make sure y'all drop it down in the comments. Y'all don't drop any video recommendations. I'm supposed to know what y'all want to see. You feel me? So y'all do that and just drop on um, the videos y'all want to see down below in the comments. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to go from there. But as soon as I get off behind this truck, give y'all like a little pull. But I think I'm going to do that pull and regular. I ain't going to do it in manual. I want y'all to hit the exhaust, but the windows up. Don't be too much wind. But Jetto game, man. Really been gone for real. You know, so I just had a birthday like two days ago. Um, yeah, so I had a good little birthday, man. Um, like I said, I got these mines on the way. 
really just gotta find somebody to do them, man. Cause I really, I, I for real need somebody to like redo my exhaust. Cause I think the hanger keep breaking because he got it resting on my, um, what is it, my rear, my rear differential, whatever you wanna call that shit. So like the pipe is like, say this is the rear di differential, right? Right here, my pipe is like this on it, you know what I'm saying? I actually looked at some of my homeboys' cars, and theirs is like in a slight of an angle to miss the um, the whole little box thing, man. So I'm gonna see if I can go somewhere and see if they can twist them down just a little bit, just away from it, because the dude actually put that jump like right against it, man. Like I don't know, bro. I gave that man so much. So much credit, man, but really, he ain't really do too much of a good job, man. He did all my cars, and he was just right there, you know what I'm saying? So, like, that's the reason why I kept going to him. But, shoot, like I said, we're going to find us somebody else that's going to do it and do it the right way, you know what I'm saying? Um, as of right now, I just don't want to get the exhaust on because I know the exhaust note would sound different because the new exhaust tips is just straight pipe. The other exhaust tips on the car, it's a pipe and it's another pipe inside of it. Like, I don't know what that's for. You know what I'm saying? So I know it's probably going to sound a little different. But in a good way, though. So we might get a little deeper tone or something. Because, like I said, it, it is more open. Then was actually five inch tips that's open. I think these are like five with like a four or something on the inside. I think I already showed y'all, but I'll probably end up showing y'all again in this video. So y'all know what I'm talking about. And then the other video I'll draw, whenever I get my exhaust done, my exhaust tips done, you'll probably see it in that video. But I'm gonna give y'all a little slight pull real quick. Slow down just a little bit. car going nowhere for real even if i was to upgrade or something i think this car gonna stay here i don't think i know this car gonna stay here i would not get rid of this car man this car is pretty fun <laughs> and as y'all know i do have the pedal command on here right so let me show y'all this is what I ride in, eco mode. This is why I always say I am in eco. Every time I race somebody, I am in this mode. I'm not in city, I'm not in sport, I'm not in sport plus mode. Now, just imagine if I did put it all the way up here and race somebody now. And I'm gonna tell y'all the only reason why I got that pedal commander. Only reason why I got that pedal commander is to help me save gas. Cause like I said, I stay in eco mode. I love seeing this right here pop up. You see Eco right now? I love seeing that pop up, man. That helped me save so much gas. So if you got a sports car, man, and you trying to save some gas, man, go get you a pedal commando. It ain't gonna save you like a lot, but I say like I get probably maybe 25 more miles. You see, cause I don't even know if I reset it this after I um, filled up. I didn't. So right now it's saying like three, 386. So it should be around five something after I'm on E because I think the last full take I got like 245, 246, somewhere around now, maybe 250 off a of full take. So I should be in the 500 or something. And next time I actually reset it and actually keep up with it and monitor, to, monitor it so y'all can see like how much this actually do save and I'm scared to like a matter of fact I only had to unplug it I could really take it off of eco mode off the pedal commander and I can show y'all a big difference like I can go to be I could be saving like not saving I can get like 246 miles with the pedal commander eco mode right and if I turn that off 
I'll probably go down to like 215, 220. You know what I'm saying? So it's not a lot, but it's still a lot. You know what I'm saying? But that do help. That's the only reason why I'm running the pedal commander. A lot of people run the pedal commander because of the throttle. I don't care nothing about none of that. Because like I said, when I race and all that, I'm still in that eco mode. Like I don't turn it off. I don't go up. Sometimes I go up, but it's like, why? Like my car already fast. I ain't even got to do all that. Like I be trying to tell some of the people that be coming in on my videos, be asking about like the track mode. I do have track mode, but it's like no reason to be in track mode because the car is fast, bro. Like you really got to be in it. And matter of fact, I have a subscriber coming down to Atlanta and he'll be here probably like two weeks. So whenever he get here and he riding here, that man will be able to tell y'all like, this car don't need nothing else. Like, this car fast, bro. This car fast, especially for somebody who ain't had nothing fast. This be a fast, fast car to you. So I done had a fast car before, so I know, like, but you know what I'm saying? But I know how much power it takes. You don't have to have all that power on the street. It's okay to have it, but, like, what I got right now, like, this shit straight, bro. To me. Like, look how that bit pulling, like, I ain't even really did nothing. I don't floor my car, like, I done told y'all that several videos. I don't floor my throttle. Like, I barely give it something. Probably, like, 45 to 50% every time. Even in a race, I don't really floor my car. <laughs> I don't feel the need to floor that motherfucker. See, I'm gonna floor it right quick. I don't never drive like that. My car probably gonna start acting funny on my ass, but like, hold on, sir, what are you doing? Now that's a floor. That's me flooring it. I don't ever drive like that. The shadow game, man. If you decided you want to get one of these cars, man, go get it. Like. This car got so many future features on it that that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's really, really crazy. Let me turn this up so y'all can see. All right, so now y'all can see the dashboard and all that. I don't like driving like they come on. When I open my door, I don't like my lights to come on. But for y'all that don't know, you actually do have SRT pages on here still after this year. So you can see your engine, see your gauges and all that and handling and all that basically the same as the scats and all that like this is what started the scats man this is i think this is the first dodge that actually had all this in here you know what i'm saying i think this is the the year that dodge actually put all this extra shit in here man correct me if i'm wrong but i think i'm right you know what i'm saying they didn't have this in the old sevens and all they had a regular screen they put these in like the 11s and up but do me a favor real quick gang and pay attention to that top the top red right pay attention to that and comment down below what y'all see might be wrong, but y'all come in down below and let me know what y'all see. <laughs> 